So. I'm literally sitting in a pile of shit. I don't care. She's joking. Mm -mm. Hi, we're Jess and Joe. A few months ago, we quit our jobs, sold all of our belongings, and bought a one-way ticket to South America. On last week's episode, we begun one of the hardest challenges of our lives, trekking 46 miles along the Salkante Trail to Machu Picchu. After an eye-opening hike to Lake Umante, we rose to begin the hardest day of the trek, we which takes us 12.7 miles, peaking at 15,090 feet through the Salkante Pass. Day two of the Salkante trek. It's early and it's cold. <sighs> okay. So we're about to start the Salkante Trail. A couple groups left ahead of day us. Day two. Yep. So that's okay. So longest day. It's how many? Twelve. It's twelve point five miles. Twelve point five miles. We're leaving our cute little place we stayed. We just had breakfast. Whew. We're in good spirits. That's far. Full. Oh. Belly's full. Yeah. All right. Let's go. We're going up there. So, I've never used hiking poles before, but we were told that these would be a lifesaver on this trip, especially this trail that we're on, because it's a little narrower than the path over there that everyone else took, but this one takes you to a deserted town, um, and everybody's going to see you enjoying the deserted town from the other side of the river, and they're going to be envious of us. So, we bought poles. Jess and I are still on the trail. We have gone 1.2 miles or three miles. <laughs> and 1.35 miles. Um, which is not very far, <laughs> to be honest with you. We've been passed by horses, people on horses, donkeys, other hikers, but that's okay. We're taking our time. As long as we show up for dinner, we'll be good. That's where we're headed. And this is where we are. Gotta get moving. <laughs> Andale. So tell us what happened. We're climbing up this mountain that takes forever. And I think we need to be down there. Go need, on that trail. We need to be over here. But not where we are. Yeah. Are you sure we can't cross it there? <sighs> We've gone point eight miles. <sighs> For a moment we last checked in. I'm not sure we did a great job capturing how physically 
mentally and spiritually exhausted we were at this point in the trek. The lack of oxygen and training combined with the weight of our bags made hiking extremely difficult. It felt like we had to stop to catch our breath every five steps. Or I really want to ride here right now. Heading home. Summit of Second Tree Pass. <sighs> and boy, was it difficult to get to. Extremely hard to get to, but as you can see in the background, 100% worth it. Um, came sooner than we expected i thought we had a little bit ways to go so this was a sight for sore eyes yeah we definitely needed it it was tough but we are at, technically at 15,140 feet which is yeah. the highest we've ever been I'm very excited to put our packs back on because we were like not eating enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you saw the arrow that was pointing towards the blue dot, that's the direction we need to go. And if you notice, this far and the line is this long so yeah basically we've gone like a quarter of the way um, so we gotta get moving yeah hopefully it's down the ones passing people but we've gotten passed by like several several families of donkeys and horses oh. Walking down this slippery slope here, feeling like we're on a slippery slope. <laughs> we're walking down into the first village um, that we're gonna pass. We're gonna pass two villages. Um, this is the first one. Ours is the third village, so it's as exciting that we're finally getting to the first village almost. Because that means we're that much closer. I feel like every time we take a rest, it's like next to a big pile of shit. But I'm so tired, I don't care. Man, this is, this is tough. We've been traversing down this rocky, slidey trail for probably two hours now. I mean, I'm, I'm happy we summited uh, Salkantay 
getting down is just as hard. You can tell I'm getting tired. I feel like I'm falling down the trail. <sighs> The next seven miles went a little something like this. <laughs> now I don't want to get up from this rock. <sighs> So, I'm literally sitting in a pile of shit. I don't care. She's joking. Mm -mm. Yeah, she is. But it's here. We have to take a break. I'm so tired. Chocolate. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. We're, we made it to the hostel. Finally. We're up to 12.7. Holy shit. Wow, we were. <laughs> All right. I don't know if I want to cry. We'll get back to you a little later. Or... We're going to cry and laugh. Oh my God. That was the toughest thing. So, we were a little too tired last night to give you a room tour, but this is where we stayed. So we stayed at the Salkante Hostel, which is the, one of the only places you can actually book online, so we booked it ahead of time. And this place fills up really quickly, and we are so glad we did. Come to the double bed, pillows, like four blankets, pretty comfy. We were also very tired, but it was pretty comfortable. And your own bathroom. And the best part, hot shower. So, and toilet paper. So all those things, we felt like we were staying in Four Seasons. <laughs> but, <laughs> we'll link it below. But I would definitely, if you're gonna do this, book this ahead of time, because it fills up and it was, it was, it was what we needed after a long, long time. Wish I could click my heels and <laughs> be at the place. It just keeps looking at the where we're at and it's like every tenth mile. We're not we're just barely halfway. 